Everybody, how's it going? Today is December 23rd, 2021. It is a Thursday. You know what that means? It's time for some Monster Strike news. Let's get going as soon as possible. We've got some surprising details. Um, I know we were going to get some, you know, celebrations, insight up as to what's coming for the new year. But one of those was not what I was expecting. I've also changed the format a little bit. I've switched over to PowerPoint instead of throwing everything in Excel. So let me let me know if you have any feedback of how anything uh, looks right now. Um, and I will try to keep it in mind for the next uh, next ones. Because I know, you know, the New Year's update is going to be uh, chock full of details. So uh, I want to be prepared for that. All right. So of course, unsurprisingly, we are going to get the past Christmas gotchas back into the game. So the ones from 2016, 2019, and 2020 are going to be back, but they'll be only available for 48. I don't know what I was doing there. 48 hours, um, starting uh, Christmas Eve, midnight Japan time. Um, so you know, if you want to get some of those good monsters, I know people were thinking maybe we could get um, you know Raph's uh, transcension announced as part of this whole celebration because she is coming back and definitely in sore need of one um uh, that's that is out there but you also have the powerful uh was it uh sorry i have it on the big screen here gungnir alpha right that's still a very very strong monster um that uh you you might want so if you are interested definitely take a look but do remember you are spending those precious orbs which this is not gonna be it we're gonna have more things coming that will spend orbs and you have the New Year's in the end. So be careful what you do with your orbs in the next few days. Um, also, as is the tradition here, the older uh, Christmas quests will be back in the library for 48 hours, also starting on Christmas Eve, uh, midnight Japan time. Also, if you are taking it, you know, paying attention to the Koe no Totogi Jo, uh, the, uh, what? Whatever, the arena, right? Uh, set 5 will be coming out next Tuesday on the 28th, noon Japan time. And you see that this is going to feature Ebisu with a 5 star quest. And uh, if you are able to get all 5 gold trophies um, up to this point, you will be able to unlock a special Ebisu good job sticker. And let's start talking about the New Year event. We've got a bunch of goodies being announced. First, of course, the uh, event for this holidays, or for the end of the year, uh, we are going to be featuring uh, Kotobuki. And if you know a little bit about Japanese, it's that character that you see on the very right there. You'll see it uh, everywhere. I think like long life kind of uh, representation of that. So um, not too surprising that that will be associated with the new year. Uh, but her, her quest will be available for a limited time from December 26th to January 9th. So make sure you, uh, you know, feast up on that because this quest, oh wait, here's a closer look at Kotobuki in her evolved form, which I think looks quite nice. But the important thing that you probably want to pay attention for this quest is that it features this Keiusa. Uh, and it is basically taking the word for experience, Keiken, right? And then Usagi, bunny. Mm, bump them together and you get Keiusa. Uh, so this bunny, what does it do? Well, it will randomly invade your quest, and if you clear that quest, you will be getting a boost in your experience. Kind of like what we saw in the uh, the Metal Slime for the Dragon Quest um, collab. Now, I don't know how much experience it's going to be. Is it going to be as tasty as that uh, Dragon Quest collab? I have no idea. We'll see. Um, but the important thing to note here is that the chances of that Keusa showing up increases if you bring a one of the uh, monsters from the current event, right? The holiday event. So either the three um, gacha monsters, so one of those alpha monsters, if you were able to pull for them, or any of the three drop monsters will actually be good enough as well. So either any of those six monsters, bring them to that quest, you'll be good. Now, keep in mind, it's only for this event. So you can't bring past uh, Christmas, you know, alpha monsters to get that boost. It only applies to the current event. Uh, whether it's the three new gacha monsters or the three new drop monsters, right? Um, and of course, just like, you know, all these, you know, how it works in the past, if that Keiusa's uh, attack counter runs to zero, it'll run away and you will lose out on that chance to get that tasty EXP. So keep that in mind if you play the uh, special quest we were talking about. And, I mean, this is, I think, also pretty commonplace. We're going to get the 
the Chobaku Gosai, which is the impossible colossal Gozetsu festival, uh, where you see all of those event quests starting to fill out the schedule and you're going to get them back to back to back to back. Um, obviously, it's a good opportunity to get your first clear or get them to max luck if that's your cup of tea. Um, so yeah, pay attention to the schedule for that. Also, login bonuses will be a little bit, little bit more luxurious. You see we get some uh, dragon uh, gems, but most importantly, on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, you get 10 orbs as your uh, additional reward for that day. So make sure you do not forget to log in on the days. Um, I mean, there'll be plenty of stuff to do anyway on those days, so I can't imagine you're going to forget to log in. Maybe if you're actually out there, you know, enjoying life, I guess that's a possibility. But, um, you know, lots of good items. And of course, you see on the, uh, was it the six there? Sorry, looking at the big screen. Uh, you get that super type scroll, which is always nice to get. And, I mean, this is, I'm sure you're expecting it. All of the past New Year's events will be in the library from December 27th until it's 2022 in Japan. So if you happen to miss out on any of those, or if you were being lazy and skipped them, um, now's your chance to catch up. I, I really like Mochi Mochina there in the bottom left. I think that little art was just too adorable. And of course, as is tradition, again, um, sound like a broken record, I'm sure. Uh, the Tower of Champions will be back early. The January edition of the Tower of Champions will be beginning as of the 29th of December. So if you want to get your last chance to collect some orbs for the Tower of Champions, or sorry, for the New Year's gotchas, um, that is an opportunity to get a, you know, forward pull on your uh tower orbs now however keep in mind that this is for the duration of january so it doesn't come back again in january um and you also have to be careful that there's usually a good collab in uh february too so you know think about it whether you want to use that for the new year's gacha or you want to wait and actually recollect recoup your uh, orb spending so that the future uh it is usable in the future uh, Mon Pass users, congratulations! If you are a Mon Pass user, you get a special frame that you can use for a little under two weeks. Uh, this special New Year's edition frame is available to you starting January 1st, 4 a.m. all the way until January 10th. We're also getting a transcension that is going to be Orpheus, and Orpheus uh, stats look like the following: you got Super Mind Super L with no wind, no sleep, which means any. Whatever attacks that could cause your monster to sleep um, will not affect Orpheus. Uh, she also has Water Slayer and Barrier Bestow on the gauge. Strike Shot is a 12 plus 8 split into 4 clones and move around. Uh, she also has a new bump combo which is just you know a souped up version of the existing one but it is a Chozetsu level of the split Pierce Shockwave 3. Uh, she also has Speed Up. Um, I mean, obviously, Minesweeper L is really good to boost the attacks. You also have no wind. Well, just forget about no sleep because I don't know where that comes into hand. Comes in handy, but of course, getting Water Slayer on the gauge and being able to increase the defense of your uh, friendly units, I guess that's okay. Um, you know, I mean, Super Minesweeper L always, always has a chance to shine somewhere. So um, you know, we'll see if she has somewhere nice. But uh, I don't know. I mean, the chosen to bump with the balance, you can suit that up with a super type scroll as well. So don't forget. Now here was the surprise that I was talking about that I was not expecting. We are getting a new exclusive before the end of the year. It is going to be in the Red Stars Gacha, which is the exclusive, you know, fire element gacha. Uh, it, it features Mukuro, and you can see that it all features, uh, you know, the uh, underworld monster, right? Like Yomi, I think, is, is the Hades equivalent of Japan. Uh, lore, right? And you see, you uh, got Naraku and Setsuna also there. Um, I forget which which um, event drop monster, the one with the you know the demon skull, you know face mask. I don't know, um, but you know you you can tell the you can get the theme there, right? Um, his uh, his uh, well, I guess I have it on the next slide. His uh, debut does come on Christmas Day. Midnight, Japan time. Uh, so I guess, you know, Mukuro is coming to town with the presents. Uh, it'll be available for, uh, what, 72 hours? 
Yeah. Two full days. Three full days? No, two full days. I don't know. Whatever. Um, anyways. No, three full days, I think, right? I can't do math right now. Let's keep going. Uh, but here, let's take a look at his transcended form. Very nice. We got Yomi front and center as the vocal. And looks like Setsuna's on, I don't know, the bass with Narako on the guitars. Uh, here's his abilities. We've got Super No Warp, Weak Point Slayer, Gravity, Blair, the <laughs> Gravity Barrier Slayer L, uh, Super Laser Stop, and then on the gauge we have No Block and No Speed Down Wall. Uh, strike Shot, we've got an A plus 8 Bash and a Laser Follow Up Attack. And the Bump Combo is a Fire Glitter Ball with All Enemy Super Poison Meteor. Ooh, now of course one thing you may notice is that Gravity Barrier Slayer L but no gravity barrier. Um, it's an interesting thought, but you know, we get to obviously the bump combos will be taking advantage of that Slayer um, as well as the weak points. So if you're able to, you know, really take advantage of that, and we all know how much damage Glitter Ball can do, um, that could be a very, very lethal combo there. But it is interesting that you got a gravity barrier Slayer without gravity barrier as an ability as well. But that doesn't stop the nulls that uh, Mukuro has. We have Super Null Warp, Block, and Speed Down Wall. And of course, Block and Speed Down Wall are definitely the uh, calling card of the events lately. So, um, you know, focusing on that plus a Null Warp, we could probably see him shine somewhere as well. Um, I don't know. It seems pretty strong. Of course, the Strike Shot isn't very interesting, right? A Bash and a Laser Follow Up isn't the most exciting. Uh, but 8 plus 8 does mean you can do it pretty quick um, and in a quick rotation as well. And of course, like I was saying, Glitter Ball. But uh, it's strong. Strong. So we'll see how he performs. Um, and of course, if you're into the music that um, is featured in the game, and Monster Strike does have good music, um, you like the, th you know, this is like heavy metal, I think, theme for Mukuro there. Um, the second single there. Uh, second thing? Okay. Uh, we'll be live in Japan in uh, the various streaming services, I mean, probably in Japan only, uh, starting New Year's Eve, not New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve, midnight, Japan time. Um, also, we got the Pro League Finals. We've gone through the group stages and we've got the four winners who are going to the finals. There will be a mission in-game where you can pick who the winner will be out of those four teams. Um, the, if you pick the winner, you will get one super type scroll to pay off for it. It is free, so just pick a guess. Even if you don't know who it is, pick one of those four. Uh, if you end up picking the person who uh, gets second place, you will get a super level scroll. And if you get one of the two teams who fail to reach the finals um, and you know lost in the semifinals, you will be getting a insta transcend scroll. And where, when you, can you watch that? Of course, that'll happen on New Year's Eve which is leading up to 2022 in Japan. First at uh, 7 p.m. Japan time is where you will watch the finals happen. Um, and of course, there will be also a special stream of the Yukudoshi Kurukudoshi, which is the leaving year, the coming year. Just a little, uh, I guess they're gonna be doing a bunch of events on that stream. We'll probably get a better idea on the next Monster Strike News, which will be next week on Tuesday. 4 p.m. Japan time. That will be uh, Tuesday morning for those of you in the States, right? Uh, the time is the same, but it is earlier in the week than usual. So don't forget, um, of course, we're getting a little bit more gap in between the news to what's coming to the end of the year. As for the new exclusive, we will find out then. And if everything works out, I might stream this live so we can watch it together. Um, and see what that new monster is going to be like. And also talking about all of those um, special uh, gotchas that they will be releasing, counting down to the new. Whether it's an All Stars gotcha, a you know roll, you know rewind uh, gotcha for the year. Uh, you know, last year, right? We had a special gotcha which only included monsters that were released that year. We'll probably get that again. Um, and yeah, it will be interesting to see. So um, I think that's it. So let me know if you have any questions. 
Um, before we go, here's next week's Lucky Monsters if that's what you care about. Uh, feel free to take a look and hopefully you have at least three to make your lives easier for the um, you know event, end of the year event farming. I might, might just end up trying to farm some of those uh, other monsters. I don't think I have three, but uh, I have one for sure. All right, that is it for me today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will try to respond to them as much as I can. Actually, now that I should be off from work uh, very soon for a hot and well-deserved break, uh, should be able to do other things. Um, I know this this channel has been a little dormant lately, but um, that is also there's not much to do to show videos because we're gonna be saving up stuff uh, for the New Year's, right? So. I'm, I'm now thinking whether I want to pull on the red stars or I want to do uh, uh, the uh, alpha gotcha for the Christmas uh, event. But I mean, like I was saying before, do keep in mind that there's going to be a lot of gotchas coming up that will be wanting to spend your orbs before the New Year's happens. So be careful, especially as a free to play player. Make sure you think about how much you want to save versus how much you pull. Um, it can definitely make a difference. Anyways. Like, subscribe, comment, Twitter, ENG Monst, Discord, links below in the description. And as always, if you are here after 16 and a half minutes, thank you so much. I always do appreciate your viewage. And until next time, bye bye.